Today we will talk about application of Piaget's theory in education. Piaget's theory has a major impact in education or practice of education. Piaget is a constructivist and according to constructivism, people construct their knowledge on the basis of their own experiences. The teacher's main role is the facilitation of learning by, pro by providing various experiences for the students. Teachers should increase discovery learning in education in students. Under constructivism, because people construct their knowledge on the basis of their own experiences. So what is the role of teacher? Teacher is facilitator. Teacher is facilitation. So teacher designs activities, problem solving activities, projects or any activity based method. Teacher supports and help while the students are working while the students are doing activities. Teachers present problems that requires logical, analytical and critical thinking. Brain teasers are a great way to incorporate this. One more important thing is individual differences. Teachers must, must make a special effort to arrange classroom activities for individuals and small groups of children. In addition, because individual differences are expected, assessment of children educational progress should be made in terms of their children of each child own previous course of development, not in terms of normative standards provided by the performance of same age group. Because we are not giving the same activities for all the students. The students have different age group or cognitive level thinking level. Piaget's theory is very important thing is stages. If in a class there are some students of stage 3 and some students of stage 4, stage 3 students can think logically but they cannot imagine. But stage 4 students can think logically, critically and also they can imagine, they have, they can make abstract. We see, we observe that in short stories for stage 3 students, we have some pictures, sceneries, images, but in higher stage, grade 11, grade 12 and grade 10, grade 10 textbooks or story books, we don't have images, pictures or object in their story books, novels or any other book. We should design the activities for stage 3 or stage 4 different activities. We design the assessment for stage 3 and stage, stage 4 different assessments because the level of thinking is different between stage 3 and stage 4 students. In this way, we assess the students level of thinking and what is the improvement of progress of stage 3 students and what is the level, uh, progress of stage 4 students. We can assess this in this way. Because Piaget is, uh, is constructivist, con constructivist and under constructivism, 
teacher's main role is to design activities. To design projects. Projects. To design problem solving activities. Teacher's main role is not teaching, but teacher's main role is designing the activities, assessments for the students. This, the, the students will learn through their experiences. The teacher is facilitation, facilitating the student for their experiences. They learn themselves through their experiences. The next thing is teacher is facilitator. Facilitator. Teacher is facilitators. Teacher is not teaching. Teacher is helping the students during activities while they are learning, while they are working. Teachers only help. Teachers support. But teacher do not teach them. Number number three is individual. Differences. Piaget's theories main or major thing is stages we have already done. The different stages or different level of thinking strengths require different activities to learn. Number four. Readiness to learn. What is readiness to learn? The same thing. Grade three stage three students is not cognitively ready to learn something more than his capacity or abilities. But the stage 4 students is ready to learn logically or they can make the abstracts or they can make the hypothesis. The st stage 3 students is not ready to, making, to make the hypothesis or to, uh, to, uh, to, abstract, uh, to abstract something or imagine something in this way. The teacher's main role is to design the activities according to their stages or readiness to learn. This readiness to learn is different from Thorndike ready to uh, law of learning because Thorndike law of learning is different from this readiness to learn. Thank you very much.